Nick, I'm speaking to you from inside of my own sort of filth den that I've uh-huh. built around myself. Um, I've ceased to sort of function as a human being mm-hmm. um, because basically my whole life, all the brain matter that I u- usually would dedicate to like cleaning my body and um, you know feeding myself is all dedicated to pocket card jockey. Oh, now. well, that's a. Oh, sorry. Did you knock over one of your uh, your PP bottles that you've been peeing into to play this game <laughs> uh, all the time? That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. No, that was some fully work that you were doing. Uh, this is Pocket Card Jockey. It's the new game from Game Freak. I'm playing it live while you and I oh my talk God. about it, and it's going to be absolute insanity. It is it, just to set things up because once things get going, it is a horse racing game. So once mm-hmm. things get going, it's going to be hot and heavy. So I may not have time to break out like all the individual so rules. So the elevator pitch for this is solitaire, solitaire but with horses, right? But with horses in it. Okay. Yes, it's a good way of describing. It. So we're about to get into the start game. And in the start game, I want to do some solitaire very quickly and get a start card that has a lot of blue dots on it. Um, but I also want to get one of those start cards as good as as fast as possible so I can get a good position. Here we go. Here we go. Jump right into it. Okay. Uh, Race about to begin. Wow, there's just nothing. There's just nothing. There's just nothing. Nine. Oh, my God. Jack, queen. Oh, Jesus, this is going so poorly. That's what not you what doing? you want. That not... Don't, there we go. Okay, we got that five. So you can have up to five blue dots on those start cards. You mm-hmm. just wanted to get one as quick as possible. Because of that, I got a bunch of energy, which you can see. Uh, you can see in that, that green button, that's my giddy up button. Okay. So now I'm doing solitaire. You can see I'm going to have a timer down there at the bottom. It's a pretty forgiving timer, but we're just going to hop right into it. I'm going to start with these. And I can draw from the draw deck whenever I need to to keep my keep my thing going. And are you are you always counting up? What do you mean? Like, you, you can only go from, like, an ace to a two to a three to a four. No, bro, it's solitary. You can go up or down as long as it's touching one of the numbers on the thing. Okay. Um, so by doing this, you see I'm adding stuff to my giddy-up button, and that's very good. Uh, ace, king, queen. All right, that's pretty good. Ace, Is there a reason two. you're holding off on pulling the trigger on this give it, giddy-up? You want to get as big as possible before you launch it? Uh, the giddy-up button only helps me in the racing part. Right. Right now, I'm just in. This is just the solitaire part. But by doing this, I'm building up my giddy up meter. All right. That was, mm-hmm. This is going very good, actually. Three, two, six, five, and then we just gotta clear that nine. Colin, Here, Colin give us an eight. Here we go. Give All right. So I cleared it. That means I get a bunch of unity power. That's what fills up my giddy up meter. You can have a maximum of a hundred. I actually Woo. wasted some there because I, um, because I went over a hundred. Okay. So this is the racing part. Uh, I have a hundred, I have full unity power, so my giddy-up button is gonna go crazy. I'm number 16 in this race, this is my horse orb, so I can draw a route for where I want it to oh go. Oh my god, it's... Okay, so in order to draw it, it drains my unity meter. Okay. Uh, there, you can see these, uh, these gray areas, and the, they, it has the white line in the middle, that's my comfort zone. The closer mm-hmm. to the middle of that I can get, the more energy I'll build, which is that red fire thing. At the top of the screen, that is like the number I want to fill up. That's like my score essentially for the race. Oh, so is time actually passing right now? No, right no? now we're good. We're in a t- we're in a turn-based in f- tactical horse. We're mode. in freeze time. So the higher the unity number is, the more I can move, um, and I want to position myself as close to the center of my comfort zone because that's just good f- uh, across the board. That's uh, good that, horsemanship. The comfort zone is going to move backwards two spaces though. So I want to try and position myself, but you can also see I got right in the middle of the screen. I got this blue fire card and this red fire card. I definitely want to grab those. So you could move up, grab those, then move back, and then you're also trying to affect that that horse with the two arrows next to it is saying that it's going to move back two spaces. That's how you know that. Yeah. So I want to move myself just a little bit more. So if I put myself right there, assuming no horses bump me, which is probably going to happen because I'm cutting through a lot of these horses, then uh, I should be good. So you see, I got a left o- a bunch of leftover unity uh, juice. Uh, I'm gonna convert that to energy just by rubbing that giddy up button. Now, oh, because that's why it said rub it. Now, now that my horse is in a good mood, which is determined by the color of the button, because it's blue, I got a lot of energy per unity metric. Of course. Does that make sense? Obviously, yeah. So we're also about to turn left, uh, it looks like. Oh no, we're running right. Okay, I'm actually putting myself on the outside here, but I really want those cards. Let's see how this goes. Come on. Come oh, on, number eight's those... getting in your way. Oh, he eight threw you. Me back. He threw oh no, me I'm gonna course. get some dung cards. I don't oh, want dung. Oh, you're getting dung. some Shreks. I don't want those Shreks. All right, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, so I almost got into Unity level three. I got Dung cards. I'm going to make sure that I have to clear those. Griffin, this game is bananas. <laughs> I know. So right now it's peak time. Every horse has a different peak time round. I can't talk to you at all this round. Okay, okay, I'll just be on my own. 
I'll just try to free. I'll improvise what the what's going the on. The timer here. is much much shorter in peak time, but you get a uh, lot more energy. But you also, if you lose in peak time, it's horrible. So Griffin needs to tap the blue thing in the lower corner to get a new card. A two there. Now nothing matches the two, so Griffin's got to get a J. Jack He's got a J there. He could get. The, uh, could he 10, get to the Jack, ten? Queen yeah. king. Oh look at that little queen, streak. Queen king. That was good. That was really good actually. Mm -hmm. Nine. Uh, let's go eight. Eight nine. nine eight eight nine. nine. I think we're good there. Uh, six. Seven, four, three, four. Uh, it's really hard to play solitaire and talk to you at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that? I can imagine. Now there's a dung guy. You don't want to get hit. I, right? I no. I gotta clear the dung. Gotta clear the dung. What is that? What's the downside of the dung? Um, it's very bad for my horse's mood if I don't clear it. Mm. Take make that sacrifice there just to get rid of that dung. King, queen, jack, ten. Oh, oh shit! Buddy. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm in a hurry. I mean, it's peak time, okay? I got stressed out. Mm -hmm. Six, seven. Okay. All right, we got the dung cards off. Good. Oh, five. Five. Ace. Five. Queen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come You're on. Get yeah, it. You're yeah, yeah, get yeah. It. We got it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So I didn't lose any stamina. Got some unity power. And my mood was my mood was already blue, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll be charging through a lot of dung, uh -huh. um, but all that's important in this round, my unity power is pretty low, so I don't want to move very far anyway. I just want to get, uh, I just want to get into that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I'll convert. I'm just gonna turn the rest of it in. So you can see I've got that gold crown over. I think that means I have the most energy. So like mm -hmm. it gives you like an easy way of knowing that guy with the 149, that silver crown behind me, he's in second place right now. But okay. if I can end up in comfort zone level three, as long as nobody bumps me, I'm gonna get a lot of dung. So is the comfort zone stuff based on conse consecutive turns you spend in the comfort zone? Um, no. Is that why the level's going up? The comfort zone, each horse has a different comfort zone. Some people like being in the front of the pack, some horses mm -hmm. like being in the back of the pack. This is sort of Got the middle it. of the pack guy. We are in a whole new camera angle now on yeah, the top three, screen. four, five, four, three, now. Okay, if you can get streaks of cards like I just did, then uh, it's very, very good for your horse. Uh, six. And my draw pile is very low this time. Uh, two. It's just ace, right? This mm. is not going very good. Eight. Uh, do oh, I want to go nine? Ten. I can do nine, ten, or I can do seven, six. Uh, if you get the seven, six, then you can get the five there. Eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, okay. This is tapping into the, the part of my brain that got way into, like, fairway solitaire on the iPhone for a little while, or, uh... Whatever the the pop cap undersea solitaire game on Facebook was yeah. back like five years ago, this is like this is scratching that itch. I'm kind of excited. To get no, it's a this. very good video game. I was not joking before. Six five four. Okay, ace. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. King, right? Uh, Open yeah. King. king, ace, king. All right, I got the seven eight nine streak set up now. I just need to get it. Two nothing. Queen. Uh, there's a king right there, Jack. But now I can clear up that five, so I can do potentially a combo off that. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Once you get down to that, like once Eight. you get that seven out of the way, you can get rid of the six dung right now, seven, right? Seven, shit. six, seven, six, five, dung, five. Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of time. Dude, Ace, you're getting close. King. Seven, mm. eight, nine, eight. Dude. Nine. Okay, I lost three cards there, and dung, Dung's going to be really bad. So you see, my horse's mood just got pretty bad. This is my final turn. So yeah. now I've got a choice to make. I can, can uh, turn this 30 unity into uh, energy, or I can try and move to the front of the pack. Mm. Um, I, don't I, mean, have the, I don't have the lead right now in terms of energy. This guy's got 217, so he's he's in second. That 213's in third, and then... Ooh, this I'm gonna lose this race, I think. So that's one thing about pocket card jockey. You're gonna lose like a lot. You lose mm. you lose a lot. I've lost maybe high level half of the challenge, game. you're saying. It's well it's a high level challenge, but it's also like horse racing. Like some horses are just better than others. This is my first mm. horse. I haven't like done any breeding yet, which is like how you mostly make your horses better. Um Yeah, that didn't even get me in the first place, and I'm not towards the front of the pack. I got a lot of stamina, so we'll see how this goes. We're mm. about to get on this straightaway. Mm-hmm. I actually stayed in the comfort zone. Okay, I, I passed it up. I'm in first place in terms of energy, but there's a lot of horses in front of me. Yeah, I got, so I got that can, blue boost card. Oh and my god, what is happening to your horse? He's sweating. 80. Okay, so there, there's a maximum of 100 enthusiasm depending on the, the length oh, of the race. Right All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the straightaway. Come on, come on, come on. I'm actually going to burn my 
boost card. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can. That'll help me clear oh, my way through some of the packs. This is intense. I'm gonna try and get up a little bit. Go. Oh, I love the oh, line. I'm not gonna win this race. No, 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 no. And Itsushi shoots forward. Who will catch up with Itsushi? Itsushi's in the lead. Followed by Fairy Cursor, Inflation Target also around in the corner, 200 meters to go, Itsushi's still in the lead, Shopping Pink still running strong, Itsushi stretches no, the lead. No, no, no! Shopping Pink speeds God, up! I'm murdered. Itsushi bursts forward! Itsushi bursts forth, Power, powerful legs, powerful legs, Itsushi in the lead, powerful legs, Itsushi a strong finish, we have a champion, yeah. I'm so sorry, Orb. Yeah, Orb got killed. Uh, so, uh, yeah, your, your first year out, I feel like you're just gonna get slaughtered. So I actually goofed up, thank you, I didn't start off so well, I did that drag my heels a little bit. Uh, if you're slow to finish, start solitaire. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I was not in a very good comfort zone to start out. Uh, ideally, you want to be in comfort zone three as much as you can. I only had it for a single round, and I didn't clear it in that round, which would have been huge for me, too. Mm -hmm. How um, good is the tutorial? Like, because this, t jumping right in the middle I of this, I, I got to just, I just, I just finished it. And I've, okay. been, I've been playing for a few hours, so. Wow. Um, Do you feel like it helps you ramp up easily, though? Do like, you feel like you get it? Um... No. Mature mode. Ooh. Okay, so we're in mature mode right now, which means my horse is, uh, once your horse is older than three years old, once it's four or older, uh, it no longer levels up. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you gotta take it out so, back. Yeah, I gotta take it out. I, I, I actually haven't done that yet, so let's take Orb out back and see... Get out of here. I'm really gonna be curious how Game Freak de decided <laughs> to show horse destruction in I'm their game. I'm curious about Game Freak's freak game. No, we're not gonna destroy him. We're gonna breed him. Oh. It's like the opposite of destroying him. We're making Sorry. more of him. Hi, Chirp. She's always so cheerful. It is a fine day. Got lots of new stuff. Chirp's prices are pretty much out of control. Um, we can check in, but I don't even... Yeah, like, no. Oh, look at this little Gachapon robot. There's a Gachapon What's... robot that will sell you puzzle pieces. Uh, and those puzzle pieces will give you different benefits, but I haven't finished them up. This is my one complaint about Pocket Card Jockey. It's, I mean, it's a very, very good game. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more stickiness to, like, the stuff you purchase because you can buy those items which you use in that race and then they're gone or you can buy uh -huh. puzzle pieces from the Gashapon. and i have a lot of puzzles like half filled but you can also get duplicate puzzle pieces and they're like oh, really expensive and i want to just like buy horse horse parts you know what i mean byo horse yeah uh all right let's save and see if we can breed these guys and well that'll be just an adventure that you and i go on together yeah i'm glad that i get to be here for your first breeding experience horse breeding from what i understand is like expensive as hell a lot of the breeders I talk to also say that it's the first time you go into the uh, breeding. You, it's important that you keep an open mind. Know this is an important part of the horse breeding process. Um, so Send Orb to the farm. Get out of here, Orb. I've never been to the farm, so I don't know what this is going to look like. Oh, it's not like that's not a metaphor a euphemism, for putting no. it out to pasture. It's literally we're sending Orb to the farm. Sends you to the title screen. Oh, right, here's the go. farm. Farm. What if that's how it represented horse death? If it just booted you to the title screen. Hello, hello, it's me. I'm here to explain how you use farm. Okay, to the farm. Yeah, sent to this farm. Oh, I don't have a new horse gets born. That's very passive. I, I think there's more, more to it than that. The stronger their children will be. Yay! Do your best to win as many races. Okay, okay. So I need to. I need to. Uh, can I check? A, can I scan a horse? Oh, a QR oh. code for this horse. Wait, I'm gonna let me screenshot this. Yeah, I'm screenshot put that game. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I'll save him. Orb is a lady. Orb is a lady, yes. Mm. Yeah, there's no other horses in here. Right. Um, so... Wow, what is break up? Like, you break the horse apart into... No, I think it means... Pieces? It means, uh... I think you can send horses to the pairing area where they will make love. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get a new baby horse out of it. Got it. Let's start over with a new fresh horse, though. And then maybe I can win a race with a more even playing field. Because, because, uh... Horses will get like tough in growth mode, and if you don't keep up, then you're gonna like lose every race. Mm. New horse. New. So let's see the horse horse making tool, Mr. Maikawa. Maikawa. Griffin to ride. Oh, somebody's asking me to ride their horse. Oh, it's Mr. Bling. Oh, this, look, this guy is, looks like a real piece of. This is Mr. This is Mr. Bling man. <laughs> Sorry, it's Mr. Blingman. That's Mr. Blingman. All right, let's see what you want me to ride. All right, so we got Quick Sort. Mm -hmm. We've got Machine Epsilon. We've got these names. This name generator. Oh shit, really Fireboy! Damn, Fireboy! Dog, you know I'm gonna get up on Fireboy. He looks like a ponyta. Um, so I want a male horse, right? So I can breed with Orb. Yeah, Fireboy is a boy. 
I think he might be the right match for Aura. But what how what are the stats telling you? Tell 26, me what you're defining. 26 speed is not great, although these numbers will get much, much better. Now, the only thing, Machine Epsilon stamina is insanely high. That's a lot of stamina. But it's unfortunately, she's a lady. She's a lady. We can't use that to, how do they put I, it? I, to get a baby horse. A baby horse get gets. Get a baby horse, yeah. Um, Fireboy... Fireboy just looks too cool for me to not have him. Right. And I want his genes in your baby. Fireboy is Fireboy's peak time. So Fireboy's going to be kind of more of a distance runner because his peak time, that represents like what turn of solitaire your peak time is. And that's where like you get more energy from doing solitaire. Um, but every oh, every okay. but every but round of solitaire after your peak time is going to be a little bit harder for you. Right. So for him, it's either going to be turn four or turn five, which means in the long distance races, he's going to have a little bit more juice. But on mm. shorter races, he may not even get to his peak time turn. Does right. that make sense? So, so Machine, Eps- like Machine Epsilon yeah, is more of a sprint runner with two, three. Um, but uh, Orb was a peak time two, which meant like every time I played solitaire for the second time in a race, it would be He them. laughs like Wario. Handsome horse, eh? Fit for someone like me. Yes. Y- yes, beautiful horse. Just like you, Mr. Blingman. You're a beautiful horse, Mr. Blingman. Currently, it's Fireboy. I've been uh-huh. asking... Oh, let's give this horse a name. What do you think? Oh, are you asking how we... I would. I don't think it sounds fine. It's actually superlative enough. I think it's a great name. Yeah, I think Fireboy is basically the best name that it could possibly be. I think we should focus our energy on figuring out what their child is going to be named, what their mare will be called. Yeah. Is that the uh, right word, mare? Yeah, that's right. You got it. Uh, so now these prices are much more affordable. Uh, stamina carrot Z. Stamina's good. It's valuable in a race. That's if you screw up. It keeps you from, from getting penalized. It's supposed to speed things up a lot. Um, You know what? I'm going to get this carrot. And I have to ask. These are all... Uh, this is all in-game currency. This is all fictional money, right? Oh, yeah. There's... This is not... It, it may look and behave like a free-to-play game. <laughs> in some ways, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get Fireboy out on the track and see if we can't win this one. And then maybe we'll call it quits. How many questions do you have about um, how this game works? Man, I I, I think I got to get it get into it for myself. Right now, the number one draw for me is the fact that these generated names seem pretty much excellent across the board. <laughs> yeah, they're very, they're very good. all good. <laughs> like rapid and ease. All right, yeah. I'm going to try. This is the start one again. Okay. Eight, nine. Uh, ace, king. All right, I'm just going to take that three because I got it out quick. So hopefully that, by doing that start round a lot quicker, maybe I'll end up in comfort zone three. Wait, what is special? Oh, so Fireboy, when he runs directly in front of another horse, he gets extra energy. That's oh, that was that, that characteristic he had. Yeah. Eight, nine, eight. So there's a bunch of different like skills and characteristics that you can uh, either breed into your horse or discover by finding skill cards while you're racing. Uh-huh. Um, ace, two, three, two. Hmm. Four, five, six. Um, How are you feeling about this music, by the way? Uh, t- yeah, I did tell you before we started this that it was on some like Sonic Adventure shit. I, yeah, I didn't. Can you qualify that? Is that a good thing or? Uh, do you like the music from the video game Sonic Adventure? I love it. Are there lyrics? <laughs> no. Well, then, how can you even make that comparison? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Yeah. Uh, Queen. Jack, it's clearing that ace up. Jack. Oh, man. This one's going to be a squeaker, I think. Ace. They seem to, uh, based on my very limited experience with this, there's a pretty good tension here between the amount of time they give you for the timed ones and then the, like, this seems balanced in a way that you're you're being challenged, which is... So I don't actually have a time limit on this round for some reason. Not for this round, yeah, but do you know why, or is that something you're still going to learn? Uh, uh... Uh, yes. Yes. Right there at the end. All right. Uh, so you also get extra unity for however many cards you have left over. Uh, let's see. Cards. So uh, so right now, this horse, this new horse, Fireboy, is in growth mode. So in, in growth mode, you level up at the end of the race. And what you level up for are, you see that horseshoe? That's an experience point card. That's going to give me a lot of experience points. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lightning bulb is a, a, a lightning bulb. A lightning bulb. The light bulb is a skill card, so if I find a bunch of those, I'll learn new skills. The blue one is a boost card, which will help me in the final straightaway. Um, if I can hold on to those at the end of the race and not use them, then it adds to my experience. Okay. Same goes for stamina cards, too. There are, are bits... I'm seeing shades of Game Freak in here every once in a while. Things like the fact that each horse has a skill and a characteristic feels very Pokemon to me. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try this, see if I can't cut number nine off. No, he's going to get my way. <clears throat> I'm going to get a lot of special points out of him, though. 
I don't think I'm gonna end up in Comfort Zone 3, though, which is a shame. That was good, though. Oh, shit, I, really I didn't I didn't burn my Giddy Up juice. Mm. The drawing mechanic here is probably the most unexpected thing All right. for me. Uh, 10, 9, 10, Jack. No, nope, that's it. Ace, 2, 3. Hmm. So this is a much more short, a much shorter sprint sort of style race, which is not... This and is there's not no where timer I'm, at all, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Six. Uh, trying to decide if I want to go down or up. It doesn't matter. I don't think I can... Yeah, if you go up, you can hit the eight. Seven. All right. Got a lot of fives and a lot of fours. Four. Uh, five, man. Two, ace, king. All right, so this isn't good. You don't want to end up with fewer, bigger stacks. Because then you have fewer options at any right, time. Right, you already burned through one of them. Now you're down to four potential choices. I've actually gotten each. through two of the... So oh, started out with six, yeah. All right, six. All right, this is going to be good if I get Yeah, five, five, four, four, five, four, five three. four, three. All right, that was enough to get me the combo. Um, queen. Ace. I saw a king there for a second. You have an ace. Queen, no. I got a bunch of nines, which is, like, horrible. Uh. Nope. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, so his mood just got pretty bad. That's, so that green means it's, that's like the medium mood, right? Uh, his, his mood is average. It, it could be better. It's actually kind of trending yellowish. Uh, so this is the final turn. What I'm going to do, I think, is... Griffin, one thing I am confused about is you're currently bronze in terms of your energy level. Well, now you're gold in terms of your first place in terms of energy level. Uh, but the race is de determined by where, what position you end in, right? Right. So explain energy. The so energy level determines your enthusiasm, and your enthusiasm uh -huh. modifies your speed, your horse's speed, which is just sort of an an, an innate like uh, trait about your horse. <laughs> so it goes up to a hundred. So eighty one's okay. Uh, I, but I still am not over this animation. I think I'm probably gonna get beat, but let's see. It all, it all comes down to this final straightaway. And you're you're actually controlling your horse going left right and boosting but you want to hold on to the boost because i want to hold on okay i think i'm good i think i'm good yes okay right. i'm gonna sit on the rest of those stamina cards yeah uh because those are going to convert to experience points for my sweet fire boy at the end of this race yeah i probably didn't even need to use fire the boy. one that i use fire boy fire, fire boy, boy burst it. forward fire boy got it and all six of those stamina cards get turned into uh experience experience points, points for yeah. your son so you got to do like a uh a value decision of like, am I going to win this race? If the answer is no, I'm just going to mm -hmm. like lose terribly and just like convert all my leftover cards into experience points. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. When did that debut race? That's a cute pick. That's a real cute pick. He's a cute oh, so horse. A cute, yeah. Uh, didn't get any other cards because people kept like chomping my flavor that whole race. But that I'm halfway to level two now. Is there, as far as you know, is there a multiplayer component to this or is this it? It's. This I haven't cool. found one. <laughs> If there is one, but I'm discovering new things about this game, even uh, in this video. In this video, yes. Um, it's. I'm not kidding. I'm hopelessly addicted to it. Uh, it's. I've played it nonstop since I got my hands on it yesterday. I'm glad you like. Are we gonna try to get a quick breeding in real quick? Uh, well, f first of all, Fireboy's two years old. You fucking weirdo. There's well, no way he's ready for that. Fire Mama is four years old. Orb. That's fair. Um. No, you can't breed them until they are mature, which happens at four years old. Oh, well, that would be like two more races. I do not have the time. That would actually that would be a lot of races. Yeah, I well, I you know, I just got code for this in my inbox, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take You're it gonna on dip myself. In yourself. Um, no, I, I I I know it looks goofy, but I'm not like it's it's a it's good. It's like very uh, <laughs> the, the uh very addictive. There. Yeah, the hooks are there. I wish there were maybe like one or two more hooks. I wish like the shop thing had more like permanent horse customization points, but um. Otherwise, uh, it's a pocket card jockey. It's out real soon on 3DS, and it's uh, fun as hell.